Modern bike wheels are truly amazing. They're strong, they're light, they're aerodynamic, and they use some pretty damn impressive technology. So in this video, I'm gonna go through a selection of wheels which I feel shocked the cycling world. We got wheels with no spokes, wheels with giant blades for spokes, and the first wheels to be made from carbon fiber. Let's do this. The wheel was invented around 5,500 years ago, so it's pretty fair to say there's been plenty of time to arrive at the design and the materials which are used in modern wheels today. And first on my list is the dual spoke Falcon wheel from Fast Forwards, and in 2019 they claimed it was the fastest wheel ever. The wheel is constructed entirely from carbon fiber, which by today's standards is really nothing new. But two features which I find particularly interesting are the nacar shaped blades, which have a spokes, and the varying rim depth profile. These two features contribute towards this wheel absolutely bonkers look. And just in case you're not familiar with what NACAR stands for, which I suspect might be the case for many people, it stands for the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics Aerofoils. Wow, I bet their Christmas party is fun. But clearly this wheel is not designed for flying, but the profile of these two big bladed spokes is crucial for drag reduction and performance. But even with just two spokes, the wheel is actually quite heavy by modern standards, and it's over 1,000 grams for either the front or the rear wheel. And the other feature which I find interesting is the varying rim depth profile. It goes from 48 millimeters deep at one spoke all the way around to 90 millimeters deep at the other spoke. And it tapers throughout half of the length of the wheel rim. And it looks incredible. We go from two spokes to three next, but the focus on the tri-spoke wheel from Specialized isn't in the spokes, it's in its construction, because I believe it was the first spoked wheel to be made from a full carbon fiber construction. But if I'm wrong, well, you can just correct me in the comment section down below. It was in the late 80s when Mike Sinyar, the founder of Specialized, met with Mark Hopkins, who was a senior aerospace engineer and a keen amateur cyclist at DuPont, met and got their thinking caps on. They came up with the idea of a spoked wheel that was made from a full carbon fiber construction. It would give the performance of a disc wheel, but it didn't have any of the drawbacks of the instability and the crosswinds. Approximately six months and one million dollars later, the first tri-spoke wheel was ready to go. It was a mixture of glass, Kevlar and carbon fibers bonded together with epoxy. It used a thin aluminium outer rim. And in DuPont's aero testing, at high speeds that time trialists would ride at, it suggested that there was a saving to be had of upwards near to 10 minutes over a 100 mile time trial when using the tri-spoke wheel compared to your traditional shallow 36 spoke wheel. And the price for this wheel at launch? Just $750. Lightweight are next on my list. Lightweight by name and by weight. These were the first wheels to use a carbon fiber spoke, which was similar in shape and size to a traditional one, but was then bonded onto the wheel at both the hub and the rim end. The wheel was made by two German men, Heinz Orbermeyer and Rudolf Diel, who produced their wheel by using carbon fiber, which could no longer be used by the aerospace industry. They worked in a top secret garage just outside of Munich using a homemade curing furnace and homemade molds made out of plywood. But the result of all this top secret production was a one piece ultra lightweight carbon fiber wheel, which was way ahead of its time in terms of the technology used. And this wheel was ridden to numerous victories by many of the top cyclists at the time. The wheel was launched in 1993 and immediately passed the UCI certification to be ready to use in races. And as I just mentioned, this wheel was iconic in being ridden to numerous victories at world championships, Olympic titles, you name it, this wheel was super popular. So far, everything on my list has been made from carbon fiber, but Bird, a company from the US, are going about things in a slightly different way, and they're making flexible rope-like spokes. But not just any old rope, the sort of stuff that you'd find in your garden shed. These are made from an advanced polymer, which is called ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene, or 
UHMWPE for short. UHMWPE has about 12 times the strength to weight ratio of steel, yet is said to be light enough to float on water. Not only do these things look nuts, they also claim to reduce the vibrations that you feel that are transferred up through the road. But it doesn't come cheap though, the price of these are around double the price of a premium steel spoke. However, build up a set of wheels with these bad boy spokes and you're looking you could save in the region of 150 grams. We're going full aero now with the first ever disc wheel and note, we're not talking disc brakes. We're talking about the lenticular aerodynamic disc wheels which were fitted to Francesco Moser's bike in 1972 when he beat Eddie Merckx's hour record. At the time, Merckx set the hour record using sheer power. However, Moser and his team of engineers looked at a different approach. They were focused on efficiency and aerodynamics rather than weight. And at the time, the two lenticular disc wheels that they had created they used a size smaller one in the front, a 650B size, which helped lower the front end of the bike and get Mosa into a more aggressive and aerodynamic position. And then in the rear of their bike, they used a larger wheel to act like a giant flywheel and help maintain momentum and speed. These wheels were vastly different to the disc wheels which we see fitted to modern time trial bikes, and the pair weighed 4.6 kilograms but they helped Mosa ride as far as he possibly could. Not only did he beat Merckx's record, he absolutely smashed it, riding 1.4 kilometers further, a record which would stand undefeated for some time. Okay, we're nearing the end of this video now, and for those of you sat there thinking, how on earth have we got through this video and Alex hasn't mentioned the iconic Spinergy RevX wheels? Well, fear not because here they are. So I haven't forgotten all about them, but I feel like these wheels are so iconic, they actually went out and bought a set. And I'm gonna make a dedicated video all about the crazy technology that's made using these wheels. And um, will they explode? Will I survive? To find all of that out, you know what you need to do? Subscribe to GCN Tech and turn on your notifications so you can see what all the fuss was about in the 90s and early 2000s. Right. That draws this video to close. Hopefully you found it really interesting and informative. If you have, let me know in the comment section down below. And also let me know if you feel like I've missed any wheels off of the list. Right, I'm out of here. See you later.